Alright, shifting focus away from national news, we have some international breaking news coming in. Japan's Prime Minister office has just tweeted that North Korea has launched an intercontinental ballistic missile off its shore. There are more updates to follow, but we are learning that Japan's Coast Guard has estimated that this ICBM would splash down off the west coast of Japan more than an hour after it was launched, suggesting that the weapon was one of North Korea's largest missiles. Remember, North Korea has been at a missile firing spree ever since last year. And of course, it was in the last few months of 2022 that we had seen North Korea take off with that spree of uh, firing these ICBMs. For more details, let's quickly go across to our international news correspondent Abhishek Jhao joining me on the phone line. Abhishek, uh, the timing of this firing is of course very crucial because we all know that South Korea and the United States are going to engage in uh, military drills next week. Uh, of course, and this is in a way to, uh, you know, uh, make their presence felt and dominate the region. Uh, why uh, we can say that North Korea has tried to fire these ballistic missiles. Last year, we, we have seen uh, during the month of December and November, there were a barrage of missiles that were fired uh, towards the Sea of Japan. Almost 70 missiles were fired uh, from the North Korean side of which almost eight were intercontinental ballistic missiles. So, clearly, uh, an area where uh, not only North Korea wants to, you know, Dominate, but also is a situation that can uh, flare up in a, in a in a more aggressive uh, manner because South Korea has also, uh, in a way, expressed its concern over recent incidences of uh, North Korean drones flying over South Korean airspace, uh, and we have seen uh, North Korea aggressively uh, posturing uh, with its uh, ICBMs and more uh, weaponry, many of which could be capable of carrying nuclear warheads. So, uh, an indication that North Korea is not buzzing down; it is actually uh, you know, uh, kind of expressing its uh, military might at a time when uh, there are more collaboration happening uh, b between USA uh, and South Korea. It's interesting, Abhishek, that you talk about uh, North Korea displaying its military might because let's not forget it's important to also talk about uh, that parade that took place in Pyongyang, that uh, uh, massive uh, and opulent military parade that took place in Pyongyang last week, which of course uh, put on display all those ICBMs uh, and this, uh, these missiles that have been uh, tested by North Korea in the recent few months. Uh, and, uh, you know, Akanksha, what has been so far interesting that these missiles have been fired, but uh, many of them have actually uh, fallen short of Sea of Japan, and uh, that is uh, the, the, the coastal uh, line that extends up to 270 uh, miles in the sea from the Japan's land uh, boundary. Uh, so clearly, uh, it, is a, it is an attempt to uh, 